you asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. I have had this one on my list for a long time, and I finally found it. It's a drone video that shows kind of a top-down view as a drone flies over a downtown area. It's a cool video. It's actually kind of mesmerizing to watch. The first few times I watched it, I actually forgot to look for clues. I was just kind of watching it. So what can we see? As the drone moves down the street, we can see a few different things. At the very beginning of the video, we can see that this one building at the bottom of the frame has a red sign on it. And guys, I tried rotating the image and zooming in on the spot, but I could not make out what this said. And if it was a logo, it wasn't one that I knew. We actually get some street signs, but I couldn't read what any of those signs said. And then at one point, we see this very large church on the left side. And across from the church, we can see a sign that lists various businesses that are here. I'll come back to that. And then right at the end of the video, we can see a 7-Eleven off in the distance here, and it's right next to some railroad tracks. And I actually didn't notice that 7-Eleven the first few times I watched it. I was really focused on those other signs. I also noticed that it looked like the drone was probably traveling east because it looks like a sunset is happening and the sun appears to be behind the camera. Okay, so like I said, I was really focused on those signs that we could see across from the church. And I thought I could read them, guys. I really tried. At the very top of the sign, I was pretty sure that it said east side. And when I squinted at it quite a lot, I thought maybe it said East Side Plaza, but I thought maybe I was making that up. But trying to search for East Side or East Side Plaza without knowing where you're talking about doesn't really get you very good results. I got a result for an East Side Plaza in East Gadsden, Alabama, another one in Manchester, New Hampshire. I got some results for the East Side Mall in Berlin. And of course, I got lots of results for things on the East Side of Manhattan. So that wasn't really getting me anywhere. I tried to read the other words on this sign. I was pretty sure this said nails here, but I didn't think searching for a random nail place was going to help me. I focused on this one word, and I was sure I was going to be able to read it. But I squinted at that for a long time, and I made up a bunch of different things I thought it might say. I tried things like Instatag, or something stage, or something story. I tried, like, backstage, or backstory, or Insta story. Like, I don't know. I just made up so many different things, and Googled for all of them, and found nothing. So after doing that for a very long time, and realizing I wasn't getting anywhere, I looked at the video again, and that's when I first noticed the 7-Eleven. Now, I still didn't have any way of knowing what region or state this was. And there are lots of 7-Eleven stores in the U.S., guys. Like, nearly 10,000 of them. But I knew that this 7-Eleven was very, very close to railroad tracks. That ought to help narrow it down significantly. Also, it was pretty close to that church, so I figured maybe I could narrow it down using that as well. There are lots of 7-Elevens in Texas, Florida, and California, but I didn't feel like this really looked like any of those states. So I was mostly focusing on, like, the mid-Atlantic region, where there are lots of 7-Elevens. I realize that could have been a bad set of assumptions, but sometimes the stuff that I do involves a bit of intuition, and that's what my gut was telling me. So I got to work writing the data mining queries that I needed. Q hacking sequence. I started by looking for 7-Eleven stores that were within 25 meters of railroad tracks. And then I filtered that list to only the locations that were within 150 meters of any place that was tagged as a place of worship. But there were so many 7-Elevens, churches, and rail lines that my data queries kept either timing out or running out of memory. So I had to break it up into smaller areas to search one at a time. So I did that, and I got some results, and I checked them. When I didn't find it, I would move to another area and check again. But I checked all over the place, and I was not finding it. I was starting to think that either the 7-Eleven or the church was not in the OpenStreetMap database. I guess it could have been both, and then I'd really be out of luck. Anyway, the church was really old and massive, so I figured it had to be there. They couldn't miss that. But I couldn't just take away the 7-Eleven from my search. Then I'd just be looking for churches that were kind of, sort of, close to railroad tracks. That didn't seem likely to work. So against my better judgment, I took the church out of my query and started searching just for 7-Elevens that were very close to train tracks. And once again, I had to search very small areas because the data sets were pretty large. And I looked through many different locations, but eventually I got to one location that looked like it might be right. When I looked at this location, which was a bit west of Chicago, I could see that the 7-Eleven appeared to be very close to train tracks, and the arrangement of the train tracks and the roads all looked like what I saw in the video. Also, the road was running east-west, which is what I suspected I saw in the video. I didn't see a church anywhere, but then I noticed that this sign said East Side Community Center. And as soon as I saw the words East Side, I got really excited, because I was pretty sure that that meant the East Side Plaza was nearby. So I went to check it out. And guys, that was it. Your drone is flying east, over East Wilson, in Batavia, Illinois. Google Street View showed me that church I was looking for. It's the East Side Community Center. This building, which was built in 1897, was originally the Holy Cross Church and it operated as a church for nearly 100 years. But in the 90s, it was turned over to the Batavia Park District and has been managed by them ever since. That's why the OpenStreetMap doesn't list it as a church, because it's not. Google Street View also showed me the East Side Plaza. I could see that that word that gave me so much trouble was Berkeley. I was never going to get that. And I was right about the fact that there's a nail place here. 
That red sign from the very beginning of the video is for the Comedy Vault. And of course, I went to go find the 7-Eleven, which got us here in the first place. Okay, it's time to check which previous location was closest to this one. This time, it was episode 182 in West Chicago. That's about 6 miles or 10 kilometers from this spot. Guys, please like and share, and if anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, Find me, Jose Monkey, on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.